Hey YouTube, it's Crazy Kid here. And today I'm really excited because I get to make my mining rig into an actual mining rig. Um, I got my motherboards in. This is a 12 GPU motherboard. Uh, comes as a kit, just came with a, a stick of RAM, a CPU, how to buy the cooler separate. Um, but it pretty much comes ready to boot and then you know you plug a hard drive or USB into it and load whatever OS you want. So I'm trying out Windows right now uh, before I try Hive OS. Um, I want to just give that a shot as well since I've never used it. And uh, I wanted to see if Windows was going to pick up whatever they did to the board to make it, uh, you know, 12 USBs instead of a PCIe. Um, so we will see. Um, but man, my, uh, my mailman dropped this or... I don't know if it was my mailman, but somewhere in the process, man, it got dropped, and uh, I was really worried it wasn't going to work, but it seems to be working. Um, i got another motherboard for LGA 2011 CPUs. Um, I think it actually looks pretty sweet. Uh, but all these motherboards, I mean, they come in a box that just says motherboard. I mean, motherboard, and this one came in a box that legit says nothing. Um, but you know, uh, this one didn't have any damage on it. I already inspected it, but yeah, it'll have, you know, it's got an M.2 slot and, uh, one, two, three, four, five PCIe slots. And so I'm going to give that a shot. Hopefully I can run a bunch of cards on that. Uh, I got a couple of E5 2680s and I actually got an E5 2680v2s. And then I got E5 2609 V2s. So I got tons of processors and over 100 gigs of memory for you know, DDR3 for these. And hopefully I can build a bunch of cheap mining rigs with those. And so, all right. Looks like uh, updates are just about done. So I'm going to run a few more updates and then we'll get a, a little test bench going and plug in a GPU. Got another uh, HP power supply here. From my old HP server, and uh, we'll get a test bench going and see if this thing's gonna recognize any cards. So after uh, doing some of the Windows updates for drivers, all my drivers are now installed. I mean, this thing had all the PCI controllers were in here saying that you know they had driver issues. So that's why I was like, I don't know if this thing's gonna recognize any GPUs. But after doing a bunch of Windows updates and all the driver Windows updates, it seems to have found them all. So, looking good so far. Looking good so far. Okay, it's time to get a GPU to do a test with and to install drivers. So actually we'll grab two GPUs, one Radeon and one NVIDIA. And uh, man, I hate doing this every single time. I hate closing this thing. Let's actually see some share counts while we're here. Um, come on. Come on. Come on. There it is. Oh. So, the two 6600s are 10 shares different. And the 23060Ti's are about 30 shares different. That's so weird. So I'm gonna do a full video on all the share comparisons since there's so many different cards on this test bench. Uh, I got uh, two more 6600 XT's coming and one more 6600 coming. So it'll be three of each. So then we can test all three against each other. So anyways though, that's a different video. I'm going to kill this and um, Let's start pulling some cards off. Let's see here. All right. So, wait for that to go. Right. Start shutting this stuff down. This switch and this switch. All right, let's grab two of these. All right, so this is what I got going here. We got 
power supply that powers the card. And we got the board. And then it's just plugged in. Boom, right into one of those USBs. So, let's turn on the card. Sweet. Let's turn on the motherboard. All right, let's see what we get. Let's see if it recognizes my graphics card or not. Now I'm still plugged into the onboard GPU uh, on the motherboard. So um, that's where I'm getting the video from. We'll have to see if uh, this 3060 Ti comes up in the uh, device manager. Let's see. Let's see, what do we get here? Hey, there it is. So let's see if you can install some drivers and get this baby working. And there it is, 3060 Ti. It actually installed itself. Um, so, sweet. I'll probably update it, but yeah, it uh, has no problem picking up uh, cards on those USB ports with Windows. That is awesome. Um, I'm going to uh, try Hive OS now and see if um, Hive OS works and see how hard that is to get booted up. Because, you know, this took about two hours, you know, to load Windows, let it go through all the Windows updates. Um, and then restart it a bunch of times, and then you know you put a card in, and you gotta let it download the drivers for you know, ten minutes, you know. And I'm not using a solid state; I'm using old Velociraptors from a server. But you know, let's see how uh, much different uh, Hive. Okay, so I have my Hive OS USB, and I unplugged that hard drive. So let's see if it boots without having to do anything to the BIOS. Sweet. Okay, I've never used Hive OS, so bear with me here. Hmm. All right, we got some stuff coming up on the screen. So far, so good. One GPU, okay. All right. Now I have no idea how to use this yet. So I'm gonna play with it real quick. So I walked over to my other computer and boom, it came right up. So man, I mean, that's, you're talking that took five seconds. I literally plugged a USB port in, rebooted that computer, and it was, boom, in a Hive OS. And Windows, it took me about two hours to get to this point where it's like, okay, now I can tune the GPU and start getting mining software on it. So, um, very interesting. Uh, Windows is free, though, and Hive OS is not. But I'm definitely going to play with this since I can have one free rig. So, see if I can uh, actually... All right, so it's mining. I'm uh, dialing it in. Um, it's tuning way different than you know you do on MSI Afterburner. Um, I think it's basically saying like double what you do on MSI Afterburner. So I'm going to try see if that gets me close. 
to where I want it to be. Um, because basically what I'm doing is I'm setting it here and then I am walking around over to the actual miner and I'm checking what it's doing over here. Um, so you hasn't taken my change yet. But man, this is the part that's a lot more big pain in the butt than Windows for sure. Windows, I'd have this dialed in two seconds. But on this, yeah, so it's almost, the RAM is just like almost double whatever you do on MSI Afterburner, just times it by two pretty much, and bam. Um, okay, so I'm gonna keep messing with this, but not too bad. Uh, Hive OS, I mean, if you're doing many, many rigs, I mean, I just popped that baby in and it came up. Um, I just need to learn how to tune in Hive OS because these are not good numbers so far. So I'm gonna continue to play with that. But yeah, what I have noticed is the memory seems to be about double of whatever you're putting in MSI Afterburner. So interesting. All right, got this thing all dialed in in Hive OS. Um, it's a little different. I don't know how you know AMD GPUs are going to be, but uh, that wasn't too bad. It's a small learning curve. Just got to add the numbers in a little bit different than you do MSI Afterburner, but. Uh, I can see how this program definitely has its use cases. And if you were doing many, many, many rigs, this definitely is the place to be. Um, Windows also has, you know, many ups too. Uh, it's free and, you know, it's, I don't know, more people, I wouldn't say easier to use, but more people know how to use it. So um, there's that. So I'm going to keep playing with this Hive OS since I have a free one free rig but uh, yeah we got one card up and going so I am going to tear down my uh, full little mini rig over there and put the standoffs in and put this motherboard in and get her up and going tearing this thing down I'm gonna take all the wires out put that motherboard in here and uh, yeah so I'm just kind of taking all the cards out I got two in that room in the front and then all my other cards are just kind of chilling here on the counter <laughs> but yeah so far so good can't wait to get all this done okay so I got the rig back up kind of got everything moved over got that motherboard in there I'm um, decided to go with Hive OS because I think my hard drive was bad and Windows was giving me a hard time. So this is what I kind of got in Hive OS. Those are my wattages. I'm really surprised. It seems like in Hive OS we can kind of dial these in really, really good. Um, I'm getting a, a lot less power draw on almost every single card, especially the AMD cards. Um, the NVIDIA cards, not so much. But the AMD cards, I'm getting anywhere between, you know, 8 eight watts less on each each card so that's pretty cool um and i'll show you kind of the updates i did here's what i did i added another server power supply i added a, that motherboard with the 12 usb ports which works fantastic even with that big old bulge in it i don't know how but it's working good it must not hit any traces in that board and I got three more cards coming, two more 6600s, and then one more, or 6600 XTs, and then one more 6600, so I'll have three of each soon. And uh, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with how this came out, and uh, digging Hive OS for the time being. Um, don't know if I'll build all my rigs to Hive OS, but so far, it's definitely convenient. So, all right, um, I will, do some catching up when I get my new cards and uh, add those on here and see how we can dial those in. All right, looks like I got this 6600 XT. I'm gonna be adding into this bench. So let's see what the, the power color 6600 XT can do. So 
so here's the card. It takes two power connectors. All my other 6600 XTs only take one. <laughs> this guy takes two. The Red Devil. Interesting. Wonder why. All right, I got my uh, second to last card. Uh, I got one more 6600 XT showing up. So I got one 6600 XT and that's that MSI card. I got Hive OS stopped mining for some reason when I added the Power Color 6600 XT. It just wouldn't mine anymore. Didn't freeze, didn't do nothing like that. Took all the overclocks, just wouldn't mine. So I got Windows working, just got the uh, NVIDIA drivers installed. So I'm gonna try to get these uh, AMD drivers installed and see if we can get uh, all these. Look at this little tiny box. It's a little tiny box that they ship this in. I'm having problems now. Hopefully I'll figure it out. Okay, after much pain and suffering, um, much, much learning, uh, I found out what was wrong. I had multiple multitude of issues. I don't know what happened with Hive OS. I haven't tried it again. It just wouldn't mind. Um, but with Windows, I found out that that hard drive was bad. So I ordered some new solid states, but I robbed a bunch of parts from my desktop in the meantime. I stole that hard drive from my desktop. Also, um, it needed more than four gigs of RAM. So I took eight, an eight gig stick for my desktop. Um, another thing is uh, once you get over a certain amount of GPUs in Windows, um, I, I learned that you have to up the virtual memory. And what I have learned, I've seen a lot of videos about this on YouTube, um, and no one really mentions what like to do with a bunch of graphics cards, I guess, or nothing I saw, but uh, I'm gonna make a video on how to change all that. Um, but I'm basically finding out that you need about 70%, 68 to 70% of your VRAM um, in virtual memory. So for myself, I have about 94 or 96 gigs or so, somewhere right in between there of video memory. So I had to make it uh, 64 gigs of virtual memory to get mine to work. Otherwise it would not build any DAG files and it would just crash. Um, this little motherboard is fantastic. I don't know, like, even with that bump, this thing is fantastic. It takes a long time to boot with, you know, 11 GPUs on it, but man, it works fantastic. Super easy. Um, just everything's working good right now. I am going to redo all of this, and I'm going to do a video on how to do the virtual memory and where that all is on Windows and all of that. But yep, that was my problem. It was a very big learning curve. I probably took this whole thing apart two or three times. I thought I had bad cards because after you add a certain amount of cards, it starts having all these problems and went through all of it. But I did, like I said, all the problems I did end up fighting. Hard drive, more RAM, virtual memory, um, Windows updates also, uh, just driver conflicts with Windows updates. You get them all figured out and then Windows will update on you and and do a, you know, an AMD driver for some strange reason. And uh, then, yeah, then you're stuck with uh, redoing them all again. But I got it pretty much down pat. I'm gonna reorganize all the cards again, pull them all off in the next couple of days, do redo all the wires, put the actual hard drive on it and program it. And I'll get all that on video as well. So um, I think I'm gonna leave 11 cards on here. I don't know if I'll put 12 just yet, but uh, yeah, it's coming along.